Happy, happy Friday, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It's weather for Weather Geeks time, and uh, things are quieting down just in time for the uh, weekend. Our next chance of precipitation is going to be rain and not snow, but we are off to a fast uh, start, I should say, in the snow department here in December, officially at the airport, with the 2.6 yesterday and uh, early this morning another .9 officially tallied up. That brings us to 6 inches. Now, last December in 2023, we had about 4 inches for the entire month, so we're already way ahead of last December's schedule, and uh, compared to average, we're 3.7 inches above the average through the first six days of the month. You know, whenever we have a semi-important or major snow event, we, we like to grade ourselves, hold ourselves accountable, and wanted to show you how our final snow forecast put out Wednesday evening compared to reality. This was the idea that there'd be six plus inches northern tier of Trumbull County, northern and eastern Mercer County, three to six perhaps as far south as Route 224, and then one to three south of there. Here's what actually happened. The forecast was really good up here. We were overdone a little bit from about I-80 to 224. Uh, you know, three inches was really pushing it. No, certainly no one saw six. Um, but, you know, a lot of places had an inch or two in that in that zone. And then, you know, in our one to three zone down here, you know, no one saw three. But there were lots of one inch amounts in our southern area. So that forecast was okay. One to three does not mean three. It means one, two, three. Um, so this is where we struggled a little bit with our snow lull that occurred a lot of the um, midday and afternoon yesterday. We had some, you know, bonafide snow showers last evening that certainly dropped some modest accumulations. But all things considered, this was not a bad forecast for our area. And, uh, you know, we're in the middle of a, or we're getting started, I should say, with a pretty quiet stretch that'll take us into the weekend. Could you see a, a renegade snowflake this evening? I, I can't rule that out, but it's nothing, nothing to write home about, nothing of any consequence. There's actually a weather disturbance pivoting through the lakes as we speak and it's producing you know some some lake enhanced snow in the southern tier of new york along interstate 86 what else is new up there but this disturbance really won't bring us much more than a stray flurry tonight and a lot of clouds for our friday night you know we're into december now and if you've been putting off those outdoor decorations uh the weekend will cooperate for a lot of outdoor you know, tasks or chores or activities. Now, it's going to be cold on Saturday. We're, we're going to give you the yellow light only because it's going to be cold, but it will be uh, an uneventful day otherwise. Only about 33 Saturday afternoon after starting out around 20. Now, we'll do better temperature-wise on Sunday, and I think there will be a fair amount of sun, especially in our southern viewing area, as we go into Sunday afternoon. There'll be a little bit of a breeze blowing around those outdoor decorations, but this is a good weekend to take care of a lot of those things. Uh, rain is likely on Monday, and of course, as we head deeper into December and closer to Christmas, you know, uh, there may not be that many great weekend opportunities for outdoor-type work. All right, so, so future cast for our weekend will, we'll, you know, kind of show how quiet things will be. This is a warm front that will lift in later on Saturday, and we'll notice the effects of that front, especially by Saturday night, because temperatures really won't drop. In fact, they'll start to rise a little bit Saturday night, paving the way to a mild day coming up on Sunday. Some sunny breaks on Saturday. Sunday sky cover probably starts out fairly cloudy and as I mentioned in our southern viewing area, that's where we have our best chances of seeing a good deal of sunshine Sunday afternoon. I think our model here is a little too cloudy overall, but in our northern viewing area we may hang on to some clouds for a time on our Sunday. But uh, I like what our model is doing here with the rain Sunday night into Monday morning. This is looking faster and faster. That's been the trend on the modeling. So we're going to get this rain late Sunday night into Monday morning, but it's going to taper off pretty quickly before lunchtime, probably on Monday. Not much more than a passing shower or two Monday afternoon. The, the wettest part of the day will, in fact, be the morning. Now, you know, some places had six, seven, even up to almost 10 inches worth of snow in our extreme northern viewing area. And you couple that with some melting and, you know, probably up to a half an inch worth of rain coming our way Sunday night, Monday morning. There's going to be a lot of water sitting around uh, early on next week in those areas that have a deeper snowpack. So pretty good drink of water heading our way. And this is a bit of a roller coaster ride for the next 10 days. We're going to be above the average um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Cold front limps through Tuesday night into Wednesday. The colder air is here for a few days. It may be accompanied by some snow showers and some gusty winds parts of Wednesday into Thursday, but this this cold air mass during the second half of next week will not quite be as intense as some of the colder air masses we've had since Thanksgiving. And after that, milder air will try to return, and I think that will be the beginning of a, a prolonged stretch of mild weather that will take us maybe not up to Christmas, but 
through the a good chunk of the middle of the month. This is today's Climate Prediction Center outlooks for the six to ten day period, the eight to fourteen day period, and then weeks three and four, which is right around Christmas time, of course. And uh, what you see here is, you know, pretty high confidence that we're going to have a warmer than average stretch, especially during this period, uh, starting next weekend and taking us into that following week. I can see where some cold tries to be reintroduced to the pattern, maybe just in time for the holidays, but while I can see that, I, I wouldn't guarantee that at this point. There's, there's conflicting signals at the end of the month and heading into January, but we're going to do an update on the uh, annual winter forecast, which we put out almost a month ago on Monday evening on 21 News, and we'll do a you know more detailed version here on weather for Weather Geeks. It won't be as long and as detailed as the initial winter forecast video was a month ago, but we'll, we'll update you on what we're thinking. And if you've been watching my videos this week, you know I've been talking about how I think it's going to be a colder winter than we thought it would be about a month ago, and it's probably going to be a colder winter than our last couple of winters. Um, that's not saying much because it's been so warm, but I think it'll be a fairly significant change. It's not going to be a winter you're going to be telling your grandkids about or, or anything like that. It probably is not going to rival you know, the, the harsh winters we had about 10 years ago. I, I don't see that happening. But I can see where we're going to have more wintry interludes, certainly, than we've had over the last couple of winters. So we'll talk all about it Monday evening. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight and all week long. And uh, again, have a great weekend, everyone.